Hey, sports bettors, this is Boyd. I'm with OddsJam.com, and OddsJam.com teaches you how to bet like a sharp with the tools provided. And today we're talking about FanDuel. FanDuel.com is a website that we use daily, and we're going to teach you how to open up an account, how to place a wager there, I'll kind of give you some of the fundamentals and the basics of, of how to navigate the site also through their mobile. I um, want to also talk to you in a different video, an advanced video, about the promos, some of the alternate totals, alternate spreads, things like that that you can add to your experience betting at FanDuel. Okay, guys, as you first come to FanDuel.com, as you can see, we're actually in Colorado. Um, Colorado is a state that's had uh, FanDuel for quite some time, but you'll definitely know when you go to enroll and join. If you click this button in the upper right-hand corner, you're going to be able to fill out sort of a quick um, application that just allows you to fill in and start up an account here as you choose your password and things. If you have any promo codes, is certainly where you would use that. Um, but you're going to go through the next phase, which will um, request that you check a geo tracking and the geo tracking is some sort of a, a downloadable plugin that you would uh, have on your phone on your computer that allows them to make sure that you're in a state that is um, approved and ready to go with FanDuel Sportsbook whether it's through your computer at home or uh, at, on your cell phone so that's what you'd see as you sign up very quick very easy takes about five minutes okay guys so once you get logged in get your account set up this is what you're going to come to in the open up the account and it's what you'll see and what I typically do is come over to the promotions page here on the left hand side it's got a, a, a ton of promotions all the time and a lot of them are mathematically profitable so if you have a chance to stop by here first to see if there's anything you can take advantage of that's usually a very good idea and as this opens up um, again you'll be using odds jam and com combination with FanDuel to find the best odds on particular games, different promos, things like that here on, on Tuesdays. Um, you basically have to opt in to take advantage of this. You can opt in to take advantage of this. And as you can see, there's lots of uh, college basketball. There's the uh, parlay insurance and NHL. And a lot going on in the promo department here. So something that's always available. And um, you can make this your first stop if you would like to, um, as well as the boost. Um, Again, first page, opening page here, you get some different odds boosts on different games and things like that. But let's say, for example, you wanted to come here and just place a quick bet, which is what we're doing this for. I want to go through how how you would read this and how you would look at this. Now, you'll start at the top here uh, at the home page. You have a tab here for your bets, which is nice to keep track of as you do quite a few throughout the days and weeks. It's nice to keep track of your wins and losses here. Um, but uh, obviously, the, the games for the week here, you have some weekly specials as well as some uh, futures bets, which you can scroll across the top here and uh, take a look at those. And uh, obviously on down here to week 14 is where we're currently at. So in this case, let's say, for example, you wanted to look at just the basics, just the spread, the money line, and the total. Okay. And let's say, for example, you're purely interested in, uh, let's find a random game here. I was going to pull one out of my hat. Let's take Atlanta plus three. Okay. So you're taking Atlanta plus three points, minus 118. And as you can see here, the money line on them is plus 130. The total is 43 and a half. So <clears throat> that's how you would pull that up. But let's say, for example, you took Atlanta plus a three. You can place your wager size in here. Let's say you're putting $25 in. It's going to show you're going to win $21.19. And then in order to place this bet, again, you just have to confirm that you were logged in um, and joined up and ready to go. So that's that simple, that easy. And uh, if you wanted to change it and cancel back out of it, you would just click that to take that off. And away you go. You're back to looking at other items. Let's say, for example, you wanted to hit an NBA game. Click over here to the left. The tab on the left is college football, college basketball, NHL, et cetera, et cetera. And um, let's say, for example, you're interested in, say, a total in the NBA. All right. Um, let's say, for example, you're looking at the over in the Nets-Mavericks game. So once again, it's going to let you know that you're a minus 110 on that. So if you bet 110, you'd win uh, 100. Let's say you're betting 55, you'd win 50. Okay, and again, that's how simple that is to, to log that bet and put that in as you go forward. So that simple, that easy, you have a lot to choose from. And in our advanced video, we're going to talk more about the alternative lines, alternative spreads, um, things like that. And um, again, you have a lot more player props. Let's, let's take a look real quick. That's kind of a basic um, part of the FanDuel site is the player props. And you'll hit more wagers. I think hopefully you saw where I, I pulled that up. You can do... Uh, player points, player rebounds, player assists. This is where you would look for your, um, you know, certain certain player and maybe the number of rebounds. If you think James Harden's going to be over or under seven and a half for that night, um, then you would place that wager right here. So certainly minus one forty at under seven and a half is how you would read that.
And again, you can move on to different games. You can pop back over to the NFL. I'll show you how you can find a player prop on that real quick. And again, let's use the Steelers-Vikings game real quick. You'd hit more wagers. And when you hit more wagers, this is where you're going to have a lot of the other advanced things popping up. But again, your player props are right in here. I will say the biggest piece of advice I can have is to get to know the site real well. Okay, so spend some time just navigating it. Spend some time just taking a look around. And you can see all the options, all the totals. Let's say you want to do a first half spread, you'd hit that here. Okay, so let's say you had the, the you wanted the Steelers first half at plus uh, 105. That's how you would place that wager. That's simple. Okay, and again, if you want to back out of it, you certainly can. Let's say you want to go to a touchdown player prop. Again, all your choices and options are up here across the heading. And let's say that you took Najee Harris minus 140. Okay. That's how you would place that player prop bet. So pretty simple, pretty easy, pretty basic and standard. Um, again, highly recommend that you spend some time navigating the site. In my next quick video, I'm going to go through the alternative lines and some of the alternative totals and some other advanced things. But uh, hopefully this is very helpful to get you off and running, get your FanDuel account opened up. And again, if you have any questions, you can always email us and uh, leave us a note here down below.